Hi friends, in today's video I'm sharing with you this very basic look with pink lips and of course you can change the lip color and the eyeliner to amp up or down the look. So it's going to be an unfiltered, unedited, untouched makeup look for real makeup. So let's begin. So let's start with skin prep first. I'm using the Estee Lauder Daywear Advanced Multi Protection Antioxidant Cream. This has SPF 15 and it is beautiful. It has a very lightweight texture and gets absorbed into the skin super quick. The skin feels hydrated, soft and supple and has a very refreshing fragrance. I'm loving this for my combination skin these days. Next, let's move to sunscreen, which is the utmost important step, especially in the summers. So here I'm using the Lotus Organics Plus Hydrating Gel Mineral Sunscreen with SPF 30 PA Triple Plus. So mineral sunscreens are generally a better and safer option and healthier option as compared to the chemical sunscreen. Mineral sunscreens basically sit on top of the skin and help physically shield it from harmful UV rays. It contains zinc oxide or titanium dioxide. This particular sunscreen contains both and also is enriched with 100% organic Virangi Pani which actually has super hydrating benefits. It also restores your skin's natural protective barrier and also being gel based it has very lightweight texture and it prevents a clogging of the pores on the surface of the skin and also it's perfect for people with oily or combination skin but all skin types can use it. So if you're looking for a good mineral sunscreen try the Lotus Organics Plus Hydrating Gel Mineral Sunscreen. So after skin prep which is the most important step let's move to the makeup. So I'm going to start by applying the concealer which is the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer my current favorite. I'm going to apply it on the areas where I need to hide the pigmentation and I like to let the concealer sit for some time and by that time I'm going to fill in my brows. I'm using the Maybelline Face Fashion Brow uh, Pencil. By the way, all the products I'm going to use in the video would be in the description bar. Please check the description bar if you want to look at all the products that I've been using and I skip on any. Then with the help of a spoolie, I'm just going to brush the excess product out and I'm going to shift to blending the concealer in with the help of a brush. You can always go ahead and use your beauty blender if you are more comfortable with beauty blender. After I'm done blending, I like to take it to on the top of my lids as well because I'm not going to use any foundation. I want everything hidden. I forgot to apply my lip balm which is very important as well in skin prep. So I'm using my Sebamed lip balm. This has SPF 15 and I'm just going to go ahead and continue with my makeup. Now I'm going to take the MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation and I'm just going to take it uh, on the brush and set the concealer up with the same. This is going to help prevent the concealer from uh, creasing and also absorb any excess oil and keep the makeup on for long without turning on oily or greasy. Then I'm going to take my My Glam Chisel It Palette. This basically has three products in one palette. I'm going to mix the uh, highlighter and the blusher and create this beautiful color on my cheeks. For the jaw I'm going to take the bronzer from the same palette and just lightly bronze it up, give some color and contour with the same. I'm not going to use any cream contour, I'm just going to keep it very minimal, very basic, very 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 everyday look. I'm going to take the same bronzer and just apply it on the crease area of the upper lid just to provide some definition and depth to the eyes. You can use a brown uh, eyeshadow if you wish to. Taking the highlighter shade, I'm going to dab it on the inner one half of my lid area and taking it all the way to the inner corners. I'm going to use the bronzer on the lower lid as well and just set it up with the help of a setting spray. Next for the mascara, I'm going to use the Kiro Botanico Super Shield Mascara. This has been my current mascara obsession. So it is waterproof, it's long lasting and instantly lifts, lengthens and voluminizes the lashes. You can see the difference yourself. For the lips, I'm going to use the Daughter Earth Vitamin E Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade the Original Pink. This has a beautiful, weightless, clean, transfer resistant formula with a soft matte finish. I love the color. I love how beautifully it applies and glides on the lips and with just one dunk into the tube. That is one thing that I love about those lipsticks which just do not need 
um, constant going back to the tube and here is the finished look let me know how you like it if you do if you do not like it and this is something that you can wear every day to your office or anywhere during the daytime this will stay as such it is water resistant and it is going to last you throughout the day as well you can always change the lip color or the eye uh, shape with the help of a liner if you wish to change a little bit about the look and customize your look as per your preference this is what the basic beautiful everyday look that i would be very comfortable wearing here i'm trying to amp up the look with the help of a eyeliner and doing the inner v uh, with the eyeliner as well so you can always amp up experiment with your look to create what you like best that is the best thing that i love about makeup and this is how natural makeup looks like guys it's not the filtered smoothened skin of the influences that you see everywhere on youtube and instagram this is real this is what actual human skin looks like it has blemishes it has pores it has fine lines so it's very natural embrace yourself and you are perfect just the way you are so that is it guys hope you like the video if you do do not forget to like the video share the video and i'll see you in the next video bye guys